Welcome to Emerson. <laughs> we like to say we've been opening minds since 1852. We're in a brand new setting here in the Thurgood Marshall Center. It's a beautiful space. So we've been at our old location for 80 years, and now we're here with a fresh new start. Emerson used to be a solely academic program, so students would just come and take social science, science, English. Now we have the arts, we have music, and so it's important for us to have a space where, where that kind of programming can grow. In our space now, we have a gymnasium. Uh, it's fantastic, it's a very historical gym. This building's actually the first African-American YMCA in the United States. The schedule here, um, it's not only college-like in that there's we have four classes a day, but also our classes are semester long. Emerson has an open lunch, and so students can go out in the neighborhood to different restaurants. There's Ben's Chili Bowl. There's an all-you-can-eat Ethiopian restaurant. I like to go to McDonald's, which is like two blocks away, or 7-Eleven, which is one block away. Everything is really close to here. Dining options are as diverse as the community is here. The student body is as diverse as any place that I've ever seen. Um, I just think that they're very warm, they're unique, they're strange and weird kind of individuals, and I just love seeing them and I love being a part of, of this place. For me, Emerson community is very open, very welcome, basically accept every single person. In bigger schools, if you're like at all different, people kind of either ignore what makes you different or uh, don't like that you're different. You have more freedom to choose what you want to do and what you have to do. And that's very important for students. My favorite class here is Minority Voices in Literature that is taught by Mr. Dotson. Emerson offered me the option of individualized learning and a place where I'm accepted for all of my weirdness. A small type of community like ours really attracts the types of students that aren't necessarily looking for the high pressure type of school. I chose Emerson because my last school was very stress loving and um, very rigorous and they didn't really take the time to learn about the students individually. I was surprised that you were able to discuss with so many different people and that you were encouraged to and that you could talk with your teachers like they were your friends. The faculty that we have are the kinds of people uh, that are really brilliant in their fields, but are also really, we think, great with people. The uh, head of school found out that I'm a musician and I have a master's degree in uh, teaching, and he asked me to start the music program. Ms. Von Osen, she said what she wanted to do with her life is to become an art teacher. I remember that Emerson didn't have an art program, and so I thought that I would stop by and see if they wanted to start one. I think looking at my future, I'm definitely uh, looking at art schools, and I think going to school here is actually helping me with that because the art teacher, Ms. Bonnison, uh, went to art school herself, and she's had a lot of really interesting things to say about it. Another one of our teachers, Forrest Malone, graduated from Emerson in 2005, uh, and he really has the heart of this place. Emerson has kept a lot of the qualities that um, sort of made it a unique and I think pretty special place. It attracts so many non traditional types of students or students who have, you know, come from different backgrounds. We like to have our students not just answer questions, but question answers. And that's all. That's all I have questions. <laughs>